Hey guys, my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my graphic design channel and today I'm going to show you how to draw that healthy breakfast. And next few weeks I want to make weeks about a food and uh, let me know in comments below what food you want to see in my tutorials. And now let's start to draw our healthy breakfast in Adobe Illustrator. Now you see the size of my workspace and these are colors which I'm going to use in my tutorial. And if you want to take a closer look at the design and to download an original vector file with colors and my design, you can do it on my Patreon page, the link will be below this tutorial. And guys, if you want to start sell your designs online, for example on Adobe Stock or Shutterstock, when I invite you to meet with my new book, 50 Easy Ideas, it's book for a beginner designers who wants to start sell their designs online, as I already said. And if you want to know more about my book, you can go below that tutorial and you will find the link on my book below the tutorial. And as well, here you can find video instruction about my book and my 10,000 portfolio on Adobe Stock. Ok guys, let's start to draw. Let's take that color and rectangle tool and create the background here with help of rectangle tool, ok, like that. Now let's take radial gradient and here we need that color and here this one, ok, it's ready. Now let's take this color and egg and rectangle tool and draw here the thin line like this. Now select the line, hold ALT and make the copy. Move here like that. Now press CTRL D as many times as you need it. Ok, it's ready. Now let's take um, that dark color and ellipse tool and create the ellipse like this. Now go to object, path, offset path and let it be minus 15, ok, and this color. Now go again to object, path, offset path and minus 75, ok. And let's take this color. Ok guys, um, I think we need to take more lighter color here, let's take that one and the same here, this one. Ok, now select this ellipse, copy and paste it. Now uh, send it to backward and move a little to the left like this and take this color, ok, a little more to the left, I think, now it's great. It's like a highlight. Uh, let's take this color and pen tool and draw here that ugly shape, ok, now select this shape and the ugly shape, hold ALT, take shape builder tool and delete unwanted part and send that ellipse to front. Copy and paste this ellipse twice, one of the copy move to the left a little, like this. Now select both shapes, pathfinder, 
minus front and this color you can stay like this or you can uh, change here transparency to 70 or 75 like that okay the first shape is ready let's move on let's take that color and rectangle tool and create here the rectangle you can stay the rectangle like that or if you want you can round the corners mm, here no matter and now let's take uh, black color and again rectangle tool and draw here the rectangle like this okay move it to the center now direct section tool hold all corners and round them okay now let's take ellipse tool draw here the ellipse like this let's make it a little smaller now select both shapes pathfinder exclude okay now copy and paste the that black shape twice one of the copy a little up and to the right select both copies pathfinder minus front now ungroup uh, now take this color for the highlight and here you need to delete that shape okay now let's take a um, rectangle tool with the gray color and draw here the highlight direct section tool and round the corners a little okay now make this shape a little thinner it's ready now select only this shape and select these shapes and now group it and now you need to rotate it you can stay the size like this or you can make it smaller i want to make the size of that new element smaller but at first let's move all these elements to front and now let's select that element and make it smaller move here okay i like it you can rotate it a little like that okay it's ready uh, now select the background and lines and group them uh, it will be more comfortable to send it to back when we need it uh, now let's take white color and a rectangle to draw the square here uh, now we need to take a red color and draw here the help of rectangle tool the rectangle like this make the copy and twice ctrl d okay select all red lines and now group them now right click transform rotate 90 degrees copy and select all red lines and transparency let it be 70 okay it's ready and now we need to um, move a little lines to fix them like that okay uh, now let's take the white color and rectangle tool and add elements here okay let's make the copy like that 
And now Ctrl D as many times as you need it. Like that. Now let's select all details and fix them and group them. Now let's make the copy, hold Alt and make the copy move up. Okay. Now you can uh, select that shape and bring to front. And these elements move a little down and this one a little up. Okay. And now select the whole composition and group it. And now rotate it. Okay, now you can make it smaller. And uh, send it and background to back. Okay, put here, rotate, like this. Um, now uh, select the ellipse, this one, copy and paste it and send to backward and move it a little to the left, to the right, sorry, and take this color opacity multiply okay the shadow is ready and now let's draw the egg let's take this color and uh, curvature tool and draw the shape of the egg you can draw the shape you like because the egg can be different shapes uh, so here I I'm going to draw my own shape. You can draw your own shape. It can be perfect or unperfect. So, as you want to draw. Okay, let's take egg and curvature tool and if you like you can move uh, their points for example like this if you want to make a shape more perfect you can select the shape and take smoother tool and smooth the lines like this okay now uh, now let's uh, take this color and egg and curvature tool and draw the second shape here like this here you can make it like that and let's draw the shape here like that Okay, now select the two shapes and shape builder tool, hold out and delete unwanted part and the same here. Okay, and now direct selection tool and round the corner here and here and the same here. Okay, like that. And now let's take that color and egg and curvature tool and let's draw the shape like this and the same here. Okay, you can move the points if you like, for example, like that. Uh, 
Okay. Now let's take dark orange color and ellipse tool and create the ellipse here. Okay. Now you need to squeeze it a little uh, like this. Okay. Now copy and paste the orange shape. Move it a little up. Select both shapes. Shape Builder tool. Hold Alt and delete unwanted part and take that color for this shape. That color. Okay. And now select that shape, copy and paste it, make it smaller. Take this color and more smaller like this. Okay. Now direct section tool and round the corners here. Great. And now let's take uh, this color and ellipse tool, create here the first highlight, the second here. Now you need to move them a little if you like it. Okay. Now let's um, select the whole details here and group them. Make the copy and move here. Okay. Now let's take that color and ellipse tool and add some small details here. Okay. Now let's take white color and let's create the salt with help of ellipses. I'm going to create my own composition with the salt. You can create your own composition. So you can make as you like. Now let's take that brown color and create the small ellipse. Like this, it will be the paper. Select it, go to symbols, plus, OK. Now you can delete that ellipse. Take symbol sprayer tool and spray the paper as you like. For example, like this. Now let's make the same with, with the second egg. Add the salt and then add the pepper. And as well you can add pepper around their eggs. Like this. And add salt around the eggs. Okay. Now let's take that color and create with curvature tool the ellipse like this. Now copy and paste it, move up, select both shapes. Shape Builder tool, delete unwanted part and that part, uh, sorry, and uh, that part will be this color. And now you can group that element and uh, make the copies and change the size, make it bigger, smaller, or you can, can create the new element and add around there. X. Okay guys, and now we need to add parsley. For this we need to open that photo, you will find it below this tutorial. File, place, select the photo, place, hold and drag it. And window, image, trace. Here ignore white, here 235 preview and go to object expand okay the parsley is ready 
let's change the color okay and now let's create uh, our composition with their parsley uh, you can add it on the eggs and uh, near the eggs you can make it bigger you can make it smaller so you need to play with their element as you like and create your own health breakfast like this and let me create my own breakfast and you will create your own uh, and for example here you can create the shadow uh, copy and paste that shape bring it to backward take move to the left and a little down select this color and opacity multiply okay you can rotate it a little and if you like you can uh, change transparency for example on uh, uh, 50 75 60 as you like and now let's play with the composition and let's add some green ellipses okay play with them rotate them make them like this okay um now let's um, rotate them a little more and copy and paste them like this okay you can change uh, you can take more dark green color for the different elements now copy the parsley and move it here let's create here the composition a little and now some ellipses like that let's make more dark color here move I think here and let it move down and let's add some salt okay and let's add some salt here okay guys now you if you want to add uh, more salt more parsley or more paper on uh, your healthy breakfast so here only your designer vision like this okay guys our healthy breakfast is ready hope you like my tutorial if yes give me a like and subscribe and see you in the next tutorials in adobe illustrator or in the next videos about a graphic design bye bye guys bye